IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a social or cultural event you have attended. What was the event and when did it take place? What was the purpose or significance of the event? What activities or ceremonies were part of the event? How did you feel while participating in the event? In the kaleidoscope of vibrant festivals that adorn the cultural fabric of India, Onam stands as a resplendent gem, beckoning with its allure of tradition, community, and celebration. I had the privilege of experiencing this grand extravaganza firsthand during my visit to Kerala, the southern state of India, last September. Onam, a Hindu festival, predominantly celebrated by the Malayali community, marks the homecoming of the mythical King Mahabali. This event typically occurs in the month of August or September, coinciding with the harvest season. As I immersed myself in the festivities, I marveled at the rich tapestry of folklore and customs that enveloped this joyous occasion. The overarching purpose of Onam is to commemorate the reign of King Mahabali, believed to have been an exemplary ruler renowned for his benevolence and generosity. Furthermore, Onam heralds the arrival of a bountiful harvest, symbolizing prosperity and abundance. It serves as a poignant reminder of the inseparable bond between nature and humanity, fostering gratitude and reverence for the Earth's blessings. During my participation in Onam, I was enchanted by the myriad activities and ceremonies that unfolded with effervescent fervor. The centerpiece of the festivities is the elaborately adorned pukalam, a stunning floral carpet meticulously crafted using an array of vibrant petals and leaves. The air was infused with the aroma of incense and the melodious strains of traditional music, as folk dances such as the mesmerizing Thiruvathara and exhilarating Kaikatakali captivated spectators. A highlight of the event was the sumptuous feast known as the Onam Sadhya, a gastronomic extravaganza featuring a dazzling array of vegetarian delicacies served on a banana leaf. From the tantalizing flavors of aviol and olin to the sweet indulgence of payasam, each dish was a culinary masterpiece that tantalized the taste buds and nourished the soul. As I partook in the festivities, I was overcome with a sense of euphoria and camaraderie, as though I were a thread woven into the intricate tapestry of Kerala's cultural heritage. The jubilant atmosphere reverberated with laughter and merriment, forging bonds of unity and kinship that transcended barriers of language and creed. In that moment, I felt a profound connection to the essence of Onam, a celebration of life, love, and the timeless beauty of tradition. In conclusion, my experience at Onam was nothing short of enchanting, a kaleidoscopic journey into the heart of Kerala's cultural legacy. Through its vibrant rituals and joyous revelry, Onam epitomizes the spirit of unity, gratitude, and resilience that defines the human experience. As I bid farewell to the festivities, I carried with me not just memories, but a profound appreciation for the enduring power of tradition to unite and uplift the human spirit. IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a festival or cultural event that you celebrate in your country. What the event is. How often the event takes place. Who participates in this event. And explain why this festival or event is important for you. In Kolkata, one of the most vibrant cultural events celebrated with fervor is Durga Puja, also known as Durgatsava. This auspicious festival honors goddess Durga's victory over the demon Mahishasura and signifies the triumph of good over evil. Durga Puja is an annual affair, typically occurring in the month of October, during the Hindu calendar month of Ashvin. The preparations for this grand event begin months in advance, with artisans meticulously crafting pandals, temporary structures, and idols of goddess Durga and her entourage. The entire city of Kolkata comes alive during Durga Puja, with nearly every neighborhood setting up its own pandal. These artistic installations vary widely in theme and design, ranging from traditional to contemporary, often incorporating intricate artwork and innovative concepts. The festival draws participation from people of all ages and backgrounds, including families, friends, and communities. It's a time when the city transcends its daily routines, embracing a collective spirit of joy and celebration. For me, Durga Puja holds profound significance beyond its religious roots. Growing up in Kolkata, 
This festival was not just a cultural tradition but a unifying force that strengthened familial bonds and community ties. The excitement of pandal hopping, exploring the diverse artistic expressions, and indulging in traditional delicacies like bog, prasad, and mishti, sweets, remains etched in my memories. Each year, reuniting with loved ones during this festival reaffirms the importance of heritage and shared values. Moreover, Durga Puja serves as a reminder of resilience and hope. The elaborate rituals and colorful festivities symbolize the victory of righteousness and the power of unity. In a city like Kolkata, where diversity thrives, Durga Puja transcends religious boundaries, welcoming people of all faiths to partake in its magnificence. It fosters a sense of belonging and cultural pride that resonates deeply with me, making it not just an event but a cherished tradition that enriches my identity and strengthens my connection to my roots. In conclusion, Durga Puja in Kolkata is more than a festival, it's a cultural extravaganza that captivates the heart and soul of its participants. Its significance lies not only in religious rituals but also in the cultural mosaic it represents. Through its vibrant celebrations and profound symbolism, Durga Puja continues to unite communities, foster creativity, and uphold timeless traditions, making it a cornerstone of Kolkata's cultural heritage and a deeply cherished festival for me. IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a time when you attended a cultural or artistic event. What was the event? Where and when did it take place? What cultural or artistic aspects were showcased? How did you feel about the event? I would like to share an unforgettable experience I had when I attended a mesmerizing cultural event a traditional Chinese lantern festival. This enchanting event took place in the city of Beijing, China, during the vibrant and lively spring festival season. The cultural event was held in a vast open park that was transformed into a dazzling wonderland. Thousands of intricately designed lanterns were displayed throughout the park, illuminating the night sky with their vivid colors and artistic brilliance. It was truly a sight to behold. The festival showcased various cultural and artistic aspects that celebrated Chinese traditions. Each lantern was meticulously crafted to depict iconic landmarks, mythical creatures, and historical figures from Chinese folklore. I was particularly fascinated by the lanterns shaped like majestic dragons, which symbolize power and good fortune in Chinese culture. The attention to detail and craftsmanship demonstrated in the lanterns was awe-inspiring highlighting the rich artistic heritage of the country. Moreover, the festival featured captivating performances, such as traditional Chinese music, dance, and acrobatics. The rhythmic melodies and graceful movements transported the audience into a different era, offering a glimpse into the rich cultural tapestry of China. I was captivated by the skill and precision displayed by the performers, and it was evident that their artistry was deeply rooted in tradition. Attending the Lantern Festival was a truly magical experience. The vibrant colors, the delicate lantern designs, and the lively atmosphere created a sense of wonder and excitement. I was overwhelmed with a feeling of cultural immersion and appreciation for the artistic heritage of China. The festival provided a unique opportunity to witness the beauty and elegance of Chinese culture up close. Furthermore, the event offered a chance to interact with the local community and learn more about their customs and traditions. I had the pleasure of speaking with some of the artisans responsible for creating the lanterns, who shared their passion for preserving and promoting their cultural heritage. It was heartwarming to see their dedication and enthusiasm, and it deepened my admiration for the event and its significance. In conclusion, attending the traditional Chinese Lantern Festival in Beijing was a truly enriching experience. The event showcased the cultural and artistic aspects of China in a mesmerizing way, leaving a lasting impression on me. The intricate lantern designs, the captivating performances, and the overall festive atmosphere made it a memorable occasion. I was filled with a sense of awe and appreciation for the artistic beauty of Chinese culture. This cultural event reminded me of the importance of preserving and celebrating our diverse heritage, and it served as a reminder of the power of art to bridge gaps and foster understanding between different cultures.
IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a popular tradition or custom in your country. What is the tradition or custom and when is it celebrated? Why is this tradition or custom popular or important? What specific rituals or activities are associated with it? How does this tradition reflect the culture or values of your country? In Bangladesh, one of the most cherished and widely celebrated traditions is Pohila Boishak, the Bengali New Year. This vibrant and culturally significant occasion occurs on the 14th or 15th of April every year, marking the beginning of the Bengali calendar. Pohila Boishak is not merely a date on the calendar, it is a reflection of the rich cultural tapestry and values of the country. Pohila Boishak, often referred to as Nobo Borsho, is celebrated with great enthusiasm and fervor throughout the nation. It is a day when people from all walks of life come together to embrace their Bengali heritage. This tradition holds immense popularity and importance for several reasons. First and foremost, Pohila Boishak serves as a unifying force for the people of Bangladesh. It transcends differences in age, gender, and socioeconomic status, bringing everyone together in the spirit of festivity. This inclusivity is a testament to the country's core value of unity in diversity. The day begins with a sunrise procession known as the Mongol Shobhajatra, where people parade through the streets, showcasing colorful masks, banners, and traditional attire. This grand spectacle not only adds a sense of vibrancy to the celebration, but also symbolizes the rejection of oppression and the pursuit of freedom, values deeply embedded in Bangladesh's history. Food plays a significant role in the Pohila Boishak celebrations. Traditional Bengali dishes such as pantabat, fermented rice, with fried hilsa fish, various sweets like rashagala and sandies, and fresh fruits are savored on this day. Sharing these meals with friends and family reinforces the importance of togetherness and hospitality in Bangladeshi culture. Another integral part of the festivities is the traditional folk music and dance performances. Dressed in colorful saris and Punjabis, people engage in baul songs and jatra performances, which showcase the artistic and cultural heritage of the country. These performances embody the creativity and artistic expression deeply rooted in Bengali culture. Moreover, Pohila Boishak also symbolizes renewal and new beginnings. It encourages people to leave behind the past and embrace the future with hope and optimism reflecting the resilience and forward-looking nature of the Bangladeshi people. In conclusion, Pohila Boishak is not merely a date on the calendar but a reflection of the cultural richness and values of Bangladesh. Its popularity stems from its ability to unite people, celebrate diversity, and promote core values such as unity, freedom, hospitality, and optimism. Through colorful processions, traditional cuisine, and artistic expressions, this tradition embodies the heart and soul of the nation, earning its rightful place as one of the most cherished customs in Bangladesh. Hope you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep us motivated.